I just love when you're about to film and their freaking camera dies on you. It's probably gonna happen again, but you know what? It's all good. So yeah, let's just get going, shall we? Hello everybody, this is Horse Over 1317 and I am here to do a review on the Briar Horse Model Huynh. And I don't know if you can hear the music in the background, if you can, it's just for my own enjoyable pleasure and hopefully yours. It's probably music most of you aren't familiar with, but that's okay. <coughs> K-pop. <coughs> oh. <clears throat> anyway, so I'm gonna just start off with her box. Feel free to just pause so you can read the back. It's all good. If you can see that. There's that one. And there's this one. And she is number 1774. In case you guys were wondering. And that's just her regular background thing. Just set that over there. Now on to the model. I kind of want to get most of this done before my camera dies because it looks like it's gonna die again hopefully it doesn't but you know how it is with technology these days so starting off with the model she is on the is it mustang yeah mustang mare mold and she is a dapple gray she is a mustang because she has her brand on her neck i didn't know that was her brand until I got her and I was confused and then people told me that she's a Mustang and it's just her branding because Mustangs usually get branded. So yeah, let's just get on to her beautifulness, shall we? So she has amazing dappling. Mine came with very subtle dappling. Like you can still see it, but it's not like fish scaly in my opinion. They're like really soft and nice and I love it. She has two socks. She has one on, if you're facing her, it's her back left. And one on her front right. This is if you're facing her. And then she has just a beautifully shaded um, mane. As you can tell. And her beautifully shaded tail. And then... I do believe she doesn't have detailed eyes, it's just black eyes with white, like so. And then here's her other side. She has shaded legs and she even has striping. There's some of the striping right there. And then some more. She has a bit where her white is, and you can see it better on this side. Right there. So onto her flaws, the only flaws mine came with were shiny marks, nothing really else that bothers me, just the shiny marks. And I heard that maybe you can get them off with an eraser, but I'm afraid that will damage her. You can kind of see the shiny marks in the light. She has some right here. I mean they're really small, but there's many of them, which is the problem. So if you're thinking of getting her, just um, be aware of the shiny marks. Also smudging on her two white socks, on her f hooves, and then I do believe that's all of the flaws. So let's just move on to the size comparisons. So, for the first horse to compare her to, I have a cigar horse. My only cigar, which is Sato. And, let me just sit up so I can show you. <clears throat> so, as you can tell, side by side, they, or Sato, is much longer. Because the cigar is known for being a super long model. As you can tell. And like I said, just... Comment below if you want me to do any other reviews of any of the horses I compare Huintu or 
any of the other horses I'm doing reviews on and I compare to them. Wow, I butchered that, but you know what I mean. Just comment below if you want me to do some more reviews. So yeah. Just, uh, sorry, I love this song. <laughs> so, yes, he's just super long and she's much taller because she's standing up straight and he's running so he's not going to be as tall. But height-wise, they are pretty similar, besides him being super long. So yeah. So there's that. I'm also going to compare her to Flash Mold, which is Juniper. As you can see, they're very similar in size. She is taller be oh, oh god. She's taller because she is standing up straight and he's not. He's kind of prancing along like a beautiful horse he is. On the side, it's kind of just like, you know, like that. And one more model I want to compare her with is the Giselle mold, and the only horse I have on the Giselle mold currently is Gigi Valentine. So this is her. And again, Quinn is taller because she is standing up straight, and Gigi Valentine is sort of just walking along. And that's what they look like from the side. So yeah. Would I recommend this horse? I would recommend Huen if you are in love with this type of mold and if you are in love with dappled grays and mustangs. She is a very nice model. I really love her dappling. Her shading is beautiful and she's just a nice addition. So if you're thinking of getting her, get her for a reasonable price. Don't pay too much for her because she is a regular run. She's not like... Forever Sage or the special run Namib or Namid, however you say her name, his name, it, I'm not really sure if it's a boy or girl. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye